Hey everyone, Megan here from MeganMins.com and today I'm going to teach you how to customize your email footer in ConvertKit. So why should you change the default email footer in ConvertKit? By default, the email footer says unsubscribe in your address. And while that definitely meets the minimum requirements for emails, I have personally found that a few things can lead to some confusion with your readers. Since there's just one unsubscribe link, sometimes people want to unsubscribe from a series or limited time promotion, but they click that unsubscribe button and don't realize that it removes them from ever getting a single email from you again. One example of when this is a problem is when a student clicks unsubscribe. They will expect to get any email emails from you about the course, but if they unsubscribed during a limited time promotion, they're out of luck. So it's usually good to take a few minutes to go in and customize your email footer to explain a little bit more what is going to happen when someone clicks that link and what they can do if they don't want to unsubscribe from all of your emails. Another reason you may want to customize the email footer is to add additional links. Maybe you want to include links to your social media profiles, a knowledge base that you have, or maybe even a membership login that students often forget. Since you can create multiple custom email templates for different purposes in ConvertKit, it can be great to customize this footer based on the type of email you're sending. So if you're sending a course-related onboarding email or follow-up sequence or a weekly email to your students, you will probably want to include the course login URL somewhere in that email and the footer can be a great place. Okay, now that we're on the same page about why you might want to customize your email footer in ConvertKit, I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so right now I am in the back end of my ConvertKit site and I am on the email template page. If you're not even sure how to get here, that's completely fine. All you need to do is click the profile picture in the top right corner, click account settings, and then you'll see two options here, your account settings or the email template. Just click email template and you will land at a page like this. Now by default, ConvertKit comes with these three ConvertKit email templates. I also have a wide variety of custom templates that I have made because I love creating new custom templates. If you've never made a custom ConvertKit template before, that's completely fine. All you need to do is copy the code from an existing template and then we're gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna click the modern template and you can see here that this template code is actually grayed out. And that is because ConvertKit is really smart and doesn't want you to mess up the default options here. So all you need to do is right click, select all, and copy all of this HTML. Now we're gonna just click all templates. We're gonna go back to that page where we just were. We're gonna click this button in the top right corner that says new email template. Now all we need to do is paste this default code. Let's go ahead and name this template and we're gonna go ahead and save it. Okay, let's scroll down, click save. And once we save, it's gonna bump us right back to this email template page. Now, if you have multiple email templates like me, you'll need to scroll all the way down and you will see it here at the very bottom. If you have just created your first email template, you will see it at the very top of your custom email template section. But now we need to go ahead and customize the footer. So let's go back into this new template that we just made. ConvertKit email templates by default have two main components. The first part is the style settings, which is where you'll actually customize the style of your email. And you can see that starts by saying style right at the top. And if we scroll down, we're gonna see style again right here, which is where the style section ends. And then we have this lovely bottom half of the email, not even the half, just the bottom section of the email, this is the message content. So this includes the actual content of your email as well as the footer. So the footer is where we're gonna be focused during this video since I'm showing you how to customize the footer of your ConvertKit email template. So if we look closely, you're gonna see div class equals footer, and then you're gonna see this div class ends. So anything in between these two sections is your footer. So if you just wrote a word here and saved it, this would show up in your footer right now. So I can actually show you that if I click preview. This pops up and you can see this is the default email template and you can see it says word. So it literally has added that word. So let's go ahead and fill out some text around here. 
What I like to do is add some text around the unsubscribe link that elaborates a little bit more on what's gonna happen when someone clicks this link. So now it says if you choose to unsubscribe, you'll be removed from all mailings. If you want to opt out of a particular series and don't see a link above to do so, just hit reply and let me know. I'll take care of it for you personally. So if you wanna copy that exact wording, feel free. And I also empower you to customize this and make this sound like you. But let's go ahead and look at what a difference this makes. So all we've done is add words around the default email template. And you can see it already adds a lot more context for your subscribers so that they know that if they click that button, they're actually unsubscribing from everything. Now I wanna show you how to do just a few more things in the email footer if you're interested. Let's say for example that you want the mailing address to be a few lines farther down. You want it to be separate from this unsubscribe paragraph. I'll show you how to do that really quick. So I'm gonna delete this line that's here by default and I need to add a line break. And the way you do this with HTML, did you know you were gonna learn HTML in this? We just need to add, I wish I knew the right words for this, open bracket, BR closed bracket, and the BR stands for break. So you can always kind of remember that when you see that BR, it's gonna be a line break. So if we look at just with one line break, you can see it just jumps it down to the next line, but I want to put another line in between there, so I'm gonna add another BR. And now I have the line break that I want. So it's as simple as that to add a line break and add more spacing in your footer. Now let's actually center this text so that it's not all left aligned over here. And all we need to do is at the beginning of the footer section, I'm gonna do open bracket, the word center, close bracket, and I need to do that at the end as well. So open bracket, forward slash, center, close bracket. Let's preview. Now it's centered, that's exactly what I wanted. Now, in case you wanna add some links to this footer like we talked about earlier, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So let's say you wanna add some links um, before the mailing address and after the unsubscribe section. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this um, line break. And let's add a text. Um, for example, I'm gonna have this say, follow me on Facebook. So if I just have it as text, you'll see I've added that new line. But I wanna make this a link. And the way you make a link in HTML is you do the open bracket, the letter A, and then href equals sign quotation mark. You're gonna put the URL here next. I'm gonna skip this really quick so we finish typing the code. Quotation mark again, close the bracket, and then I'm gonna put an A with a forward slash where I want the link to end. So let's preview that. So you can see that's now a link. So all you need to do is put in the URL right here. Perfect, so now we have our link. Let's preview it again, it should look the same. Now you know how to customize your email footer in ConvertKit. But if you wanna truly customize your emails, you need to create your own custom email template in ConvertKit. That's why I created my brand new mini class, where I'll provide you with a ready to use email template, show you how to set it up, and then guide you through the entire customization process. So far, students are saying that it's only taken them about an hour to not only go through the program, but to also set up and customize their own custom email template in ConvertKit. You can learn more about this mini class by clicking the link below this video or by going to meganmins.com forward slash CK templates. If you thought this video was helpful, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and share it with your friends so I know to make more videos like this. I'll see you next time.